Hello folks, how you doing? Good to be with you in one more video. In this video, I'm gonna show you some thrift store finds, day one. <laughs> um, there's a store in, that I used to shop at called Salty's Record Attic. It was in a town called Modesto here in California. It's one of those stores that has been open for many, many, many years. Sadly, they had to close their doors. Uh, they had a lot of good, expensive, rare vinyl. Uh, very valuable. I'm sure they kept that <laughs> and sold it online. But the rest of their used inventory, they donated it to two thrift stores, one here, one in Modesto. Here being Stockton, California. And uh, so they donated their used inventory to these two thrift stores. And uh, the thrift store, and then we're talking thousands of records. The Stockton store got something like 6,000 LPs, probably more. And the Modesto store got about the same. And since last week, they've, had, they've been having this insane vinyl sale. So this was the first day I went when the vinyl sale was going on for a day or two. And I was, they were selling records 50 cents an album. And it didn't matter if it was one record set, two record set, three sec record set. All titles were 50 cents each. So I got all these albums I'm about to show you for 50 cents each record. And, uh, and because Salty's took care of their records, most of these are, most of these are in good condition. So, so I'm just going to blaze through them, no particular order. Um, so here we go. Um, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, self-titled. I'm assuming it's their first LP. Bought it because I love the song Lucky Man. Uh, Sammy Hagar's Three Log Box. Really good album, Three Log Box. And uh, uh, Your Love is Drive Me Crazy. Uh, Wings Over America. Three LP uh, vinyl set, live record. There's the gatefold. This was in really good condition. And uh, the records sound clean, play nice. 12 inch single from John Cougar for the song I Need a Lover. Never seen this before, never knew it existed, so it's now mine. A soundtrack from the movie Quicksilver for the Genesis fan in me. Uh, Tony Banks has a lot of songs, and he did a score for it for this film, so he has a few songs on here. He also did a song uh, with Fish, uh, the original lead singer from Marillion called Shortcuts of Nowhere. That's also on the soundtrack, so really cool. Uh, from The Who, Quadrophenia, from the original motion picture soundtrack. Uh, I've never seen the movie Quadrophenia. I know Sting is in it. In fact, there's the gatefold, if you look closely. There's Sting's blonde hair right there. <laughs> so, two records set. Records are in great condition. And uh, not bad for 50 cents, right? This one was slightly dam water damaged, but the, the LP, was, the vinyl was in good shape. Wings, band on the run. Records, uh, it just took a good cleaning. I was able to say that there's water damage down here. Record is slightly warped, but still plays really well. Uh, Surrealistic Pillow from Jefferson Airplane. This is a mono copy. I already had a mono copy of this album already in my collection, but this one is in way better condition, a lot cleaner, and plays a lot better than my original. So this is going to go to, in the collection, the original, out. Uh, Janet Jackson Control for the 80s Kid and Me. I was in high school and this was a big album, so bam, mine, so not bad. Next stack here. Uh, Dave Mason, Alone Together, another album I had originally, and it folds out like so, and it is on marble vinyl, there we go, Blue Thumb is the label, I had this already, but my, originally, my original copy of this album though was the marble vinyl, was badly warped, this one is really clean, not warped, plays really nice, purrs like a kitten. So uh, that was a good find for 50 cents. Uh, Linda Ronstadt, Heart Like heart like a Wheel. And I've been getting to Ronstadt lately because there's a radio station here that just always plays our music and it got me hooked. A 12 inch single, this didn't really have a cover on it, but it was from OMD for the song Telegraph on side one. Side two has a remix of Telegraph and the song Radio Waves. Big OMD fan, so naturally I had to go for it. And speaking of OMD, uh, we have Dazzle Ships, 
had this record before, but I always had the die cut cover, never had quite this cover. It's, it's even in a uh, different uh, color scheme. So, uh, pretty original, so I thought I'd get that. Paul McCartney, uh, Tug of War. Uh, I'm not much of a collector of McCartney's soul albums, but at 50 cents a record, why not start now, all right? This has that annoying fucking song, Ebony and Ivory. I hate that damn song, but um, I'm sure the rest will be good. I haven't listened to this record yet, so we'll see. As well as this one, uh, Pipes of Peace. Um, the song has the song Say 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 with Michael Jackson. I always liked that song, so it went for the record. I heard, I heard good things about that album, so um, glad I got it. I always wanted to get into Gary Moore's records, uh, but never knew where to start. They had a bunch of them, so I grabbed a few of them. Uh, Gary Moore, uh, Wild Frontier. I like this album a lot. I love this album. It has an 80s sound to it, but I enjoyed listening to this. I dug it, and uh, let me just show you the vinyl real quick. The vinyl is in excellent shape on the Virgin label. Uh, never had any of his music before, so I thought I'd uh, give it a shot. And I was really happy with what I heard. Love that album. Okay, uh, also from Gary Moore, uh, two LPs, both with the same name, um, Corridors of Power. Here's the first copy I have of it, and then I found this one. Same name, same track listing, but just way different cover. No, I don't know anything about Gary Moore. <laughs> now, I'll give you a closer look here. I don't know anything about Gary Moore, and I saw that these both had the same title, the same song lists, in the same order. I don't know if one is more rare than the other, but I went and grabbed both of them. So, so really cool find there. Also from Gary Moore, Victims of the Future. I love this picture right here in the back cover. Really nice, so glad to have that one. And the last one, Gary Moore, White Knuckles. There's a couple live tracks on this album. Three live tracks. I guess the rest of the studio I haven't listened to this one yet. Really nice. Let me see if I can... I'll show the label on this one, because it's a white label. I don't know if it's a promo or that's just the, <laughs> the label. But there we go. There's the label for Gary Moore, White Knuckles. So really glad to now have a Gary Moore collection. It's someone, it's someone I always wanted to get into, but just didn't know where to start. And that got me started. Next up, The Secret Policeman's Other Ball. Uh, this is... A compilation, Sting, it's a live recording, of course. Uh, Sting is on it, Jeff Beck and Eric Clapton play together on some songs. Uh, Bob Geldof and Johnny Fingers. Phil Collins sings acoustic versions of In the Air Night and The Roof is Leaking. Donovan also on this album. Uh, Looks like a cool find. I remember seeing video from this, from this show, so really glad to have that. Uh, from the band IQ, this is one I've always been curious about. Uh, I think they're a prog rock band. I have some friends that are into prog rock. They talk about the band IQ's the Gold Stamp promo. And I wasn't sure if this was the album, the band they were talking about, uh, but I thought I'd go ahead and snatch it for 50 cents and find out. Uh, from Steve Hackett, the album Defector. There we go. Uh, I had this in my Steve Hackett collection already, but it had, but I love the label. This nice charisma label. So really cool. The record's in great condition. So that's going to be a nice addition to the Steve Hackett collection. Already had the album. The album's fantastic. But um, uh, different packaging on this one as compared to one I had. So pretty interesting. All right, next stack here uh, from the Patty Smith Group Easter. This took some saving. There's bad water damage at the bottom of the record. And it affected the record. The record was real dirty. And it, I wasn't sure if I could save this, but I decided to take it on as a project <laughs> and uh, see if I can't save it. And here's the uh, insert. As you can see, the water damage is all on this side. Um, and around here, the record is, is warped, but it still plays really well. I was able to clean it up because this record looked thrashed, thrashed. And I was wondering, well, it shines up like a new penny. It's, and it is somewhat warped, not badly warped, but a little warped. Uh, threw it on the turntable, listened to it, sounds fantastic, no skips. 
doesn't uh, interfere with the sound quality, still sounds like a really good record. And uh, was really happy I was able to save that one, so it was my project record. <laughs> and uh, good album too, I, I love this album. As I'm, as I'm sure a lot of you do, this is a classic record. Excuse me here, I'm having some trouble putting this back in this. Because the uh, cover is so warped, and the record is slightly warped, it's hard to put back in sometimes when you take it out. It does take some effort and some time, <laughs> which I shouldn't be doing on camera, so there we go. Alright, next up, a uh, 12 inch single from Genesis for the song Mama. This is the die cut cover. As you can see, woo, there we go. It is on a custom label from Virgin and um, a Charisma label, excuse me, famous Charisma label. I had one of these in my collection already, but this one was in great shape, excellent condition, and 50 cents. Can't leave it behind. Just couldn't do it. <laughs> uh, from Dave Mason, the best of Dave Mason. Really cool. And uh, it's on the Blue Thumb label. Next up, Linda Ronstad, uh, Simple Dreams. I just like that picture of her. And I like the gatefold too. Really cool gatefold of her and her band. And I enjoy listening to her music. <laughs> um, there's a nice picture of her. I can't remember what the label was on this one. Oh, it's a custom label, so really nice. A lot of these records were in excellent shape. Maybe the covers look a little beat up, but the, most of the vinyls looked almost unplayed. <laughs> and uh, that's what made this thrift store such a good one. Uh, next album out, Ricky Lee Jones, self-titled album. I love that song, Chucky's in Love, ever since I saw her singing um, Saturday Night Live back in the 70s when I was a kid. Loved the song ever since, so what the hell, I thought I'd get it. From Ario Speedwagon, you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. There we go, it has, what else is it? It has Roll the Changes, Time for Me to Fly. I always wanted to get this album, every time I see it, it's beat up to hell. <laughs> This one was in really good shape. Original insert and vinyls on Epic. And as you can see, it's in excellent shape. It didn't even need to be cleaned. It, and it sounds fantastic. So really, really good find there. From Dave Mason, live album, Head Keeper. Uh, I had this already, but my record was kind of warped. So this was a good replacement copy because on Blue Thumb. This record is in way better condition than the one I put in my collection, so I got a good replacement piece for it. So there we go. From uh, Emerson Lake and Palmer, Brain Salad Surgery, uh, a record I had already. Uh, but the reason I bought this is because I'm just in love with the cover. That cover is just awesome. Awesome. Uh, mine came with a poster, my original. This one did not. But, um, it did come with a fold-out poster, and of course there's the custom label here, and we just get it right side up here. So there's a custom label, just like my old one had, except they didn't have this in this weird insert. Mine had a poster with the pictures of the guys in the band. This one came with kind of this insert and credits on the opposite side. Uh, different from the one I had, so I thought that was cool enough for me to get it. <laughs> Just, it's a little different, that's all. Different packaging, so I thought, oh, what the hell, I'll get it. It's only 50 cents, it's not gonna kill me. So there we go. Next up, and the last record, uh, from Wings, Venus and Mars. Really nice, and there is the gatefold. I have to work on this album because the bottom, as you can see, is coming apart, so I have to glue that together. But what was cool about this is it came with all the goodies. Uh, came with two posters. I can just get it all together here. This one, this poster's not that special. See, there we go. Came, came with this poster. And it also came with this poster. And there's pictures of them in front of a barn, I guess, where they were going to record this album. So there's poster number two this record came with. And the next, and then of course it came with this strange sticker uh, showing the different planets. 
and the sizes of them it's kind of hard to see but there we go just to give you an idea it's nice that it came with all the original stuff and of course a sticker Venus and Mars and then of course what the hell we'll show you the album <laughs> original insert pretty cool I haven't listened to this one yet this one needs a little bit of a cleaning I haven't got around to it but it's on the Capitol label really cool all right, so that was my haul for day one of the thrift store sale. All these records were 50 cents a pop. So I walked out of all these albums only laying down just over 20 bucks. Can't beat that with stick, right? That is a bargain. I don't care where you dig, that's a bargain. And a lot of these records, I said, some of them have to be cleaned up. Some of them were a project. Not all of them, though. Most of them were in really good condition. And what was cool about it is there was a lot of vinyl diggers from the region there. <laughs> and we're talking about the obsessed people, the people that will get on the ground, because they had so many boxes and crates of records in this thrift store, in the, towards the back of the store. Uh, they must have had like 6,000 albums in total, is what one of the workers told me. And some of them were on tables, some of them were on the ground, so you had to sit Indian style and go through each individual and none of the, and none of the records were any kind of order uh it was they threw everything together in these boxes of records so you really you'll have a hip-hop record a country record jim neighbors sings his hits <laughs> and then a bunch of obscure jazz albums some 80s r b to kenny Loggins records right after that i mean that's pretty much every box uh, every box was arranged it was just a mixed bag of everything and there were so many boxes and crates that to thumb through to get to find all these records took me two and a half hours and I was there with just dedicated obsessed vinyl diggers like myself and a friendly bunch of folks too um, we, we got to know each other and talked about our favorite bands and said what are you looking for well I'll shout it out if I see it in this next box over here so you have people saying hey I found a Genesis record or hey I found an ELP record that you were looking for or here's an Elvis record you were looking for no matter what people's tastes were, uh, everybody was helping each other out. That was really, really nice. <laughs> I really enjoyed uh, doing this uh, thrift store gig. Uh, dig. Uh, so that was day one. I went back later and did another day because they re they just want to get rid of the damn records now, the thrift store, and they reduced their sales to 25 cents per record. Also. So I went today and got another 30 records for 25 cents a piece. And I'll show that in another video. Uh, those are some good finds too. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this record, uh, for this <laughs> this video of my thrift store finds. See you at the next video.